Good morning everybody, it's a Stay Strong Monday and it's the 8th of February. Now, it's a, it was, well, a I minute, mean, it was still bright. It's a bright sky, it's sunshine, but it's icy roads and a bit crispy air, if air can be crispy, but you know what I mean, clear, pure, clean air. And I kind of spoke too soon because actually as I was just looking out the window, the snow started, huge big flakes, so there was a flurry of snow and now it's lying on the ground and the ground's like, it's as if it's got icing on a cake. Before I start on the topic, stay strong, I want to thank everyone who registered and joined um, myself, my virtual book event on Friday night, when there was myself and Danielle McGregor, fabulous, talented uh, lady who does poem, poems, rhyming poems, absolutely fantastic. And it was the Changing Seasons of Life evening. And we spoke about creativity and we read um, parts of a short story and poems and just what we do for creativity. And we asked others what they did for creativity and some of them shared some fabulous ideas. So for that, a huge thank you. So for today, it's all about staying strong. And in the words of Bob Marley, you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. And in the words of Captain Sir Tom Moore, which we all remember, um, he's resting in peace now, watching down over all of us. The clouds will go away and the sun will shine on you again. And of course, there's his autobiography title, Tomorrow Will Be A Good Day. And for me, the affirmation would be tomorrow is a good day. It's said by some that listening to songs about clouds apparently is a good way to start a cloudy Monday because um, when you wake up at the start of the week and maybe there's clouds, you know there's no sun but the sun is behind, the clouds are blocking that sun. I'm not sure if I want to listen to songs that about clouds um, but I do love looking at nature in all weathers and of course today the snow here has now stopped but it's absolutely gorgeous and I'll just give Dave a wee wave there thank you very much now never be too busy doing so that you actually miss out on living and seeing the beauty of nature all around you I mean just nature is wonderful and when you feel down at all just look out and look at the sky the trees whatever Nature is wonderful. More than ever, we're going to need help to stay strong as there's still so much negativity. It's a, also not just due to the pandemic, but the vaccines and people are now questioning the types of vaccine, vaccines. It's just on and on. And I think that probably um, the these times will be with us for quite a while. Life throws us challenges all the time. Life is that why I titled my book Changing Seasons of Life. It changes all the time, not just the seasons. So you need to know how to stay strong during the tough times of life. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the sun was shining all the time or if, if you only saw rainbows instead of the rain and the clouds? But that's not reality. So you can't escape the hard times. Life's ever changing. And as I said, that's why I thought of um, the title Changing Seasons of Life for my latest book, because I hope you decide to buy it because you learn to understand the importance of creativity. Sometimes for many, life is so hard, you probably think, oh, I don't know if I'll get through this. I don't know how I'll get through it. I don't know how I'll manage to stay strong in the face of what's happening to me. Whether that's a trauma, whether it's tragedy of the loss of a loved one or any crisis. Remember at the start of the pandemic, nearly a year ago now, in March 2020, there was a phrase saying that we're all in the same boat. Well, that really isn't true and it's not true of life. We may be in the same storm, but we're in very different boats. And even within these boats, we are all experiencing life in a different way. So here are some tips. When the going gets tough 
And if you practice these, then you're able to call them to mind as soon as anything is becomes tough for you. So if you've been listening and watching to my videos, my live videos, you're probably thinking, ooh, I've heard these tips before. I know many of the tips, if not all of them, are repetitive. But they're still effective. And there's nothing wrong in things being repetitive. Um, repetition uh, helps make things become a habit. And we all know how we form bad habits. So I hope that you repeat these tips and my ABC so that they become your good habit. The first thing is accept that some situations are just beyond your control. People who do this, um, they survive the hard days better than others. Um, when they do this, they gather inner strength. And that's what's important. Now, I hear you say, oh, that's all very well. well that sounds, it's easier said than done. And I know that. But uh, if you think of like the recognised stages of grief, um, you know, the acceptance is the last one. You kind of go through the denial, the anger, bargaining, sadness and then acceptance. Well, I, I kind of don't fully agree with these set stages. I don't think they're set in stone. Uh, everybody, you know, um, grieves in different ways. And if you read my book, The Weight of Emptiness, Comfort and Hope for the Loss of a Loved One, I talk about the pain of losing my eldest son to suicide and others in the book shared their stories as well. And for, for many, I think, it isn't so much the set stages of grief because we all grieve differently, but the process, it can happen almost in one day. You feel almost in one hour, in one week. And it's good It's good to know that there are stages because, but don't over worry if you're not going through, you know, you can read things about going through grief and think, oh, I haven't, I haven't experienced that. Oh, I, that, has, that isn't me. Don't over worry about that. You might not follow these stages. You might have the stages in a different order. So you are you. So I offer some other tips in the book as well, which bring comfort and hope to me and I hope to many others. So another tip for staying strong in the face of challenges, loss, crisis, is to allow yourself time to grieve. You see, we don't grieve just because of a death or the loss of a loved one. It can be the loss of a pet. It can be the loss of our savings. It can be the loss of life as we know it. Life changes and I'm sure that many of you, like me, I've suffered not, you know, obviously the most traumatic one was losing my son. But before that, life changed. There were traumatic situations and you know, we, we need to be able to stay strong in these times. So it was, to me, my way of thinking and um, when I was writing the book was that um, using resilience and creativity got me through. And that's kind of, of course, why I then followed on to think about, well, I'm going to write a book then, update my seven attributes for resilience and courage, the key to endurance. Because for me... Um, it was a, a matter of honouring my son in a positive way. And when you've got resilience and courage, then you endure life in a different way. Life will never be the same. You're not getting over something. You're just enduring it in a different way. And that really sort of helped me. Stay strong by getting mad, getting angry, getting sad, scream. I mean, I found that uh, I, if I'm in one of these kind of moods, do it when you're alone, you know, go out in the car or walk into an area where you're maybe alone and just scream, cry, shout, sing at the top of your voice. Uh, I, I mean, I found that really helps and sort of the release and it's absolutely, it works wonders. So try it. And by doing this, you start to accept that you can't control everything. We'll give a wee wave to people there. Thank you very much. David and Alan. Um, so you find inner strength when you do this. Now, obviously, you don't go out into the street and start screaming and crying. People think you're probably going off your head. So try and find somewhere quiet. Um, one of the things was if you're in the house, actually, you can sort of scream into a pillow, punch a pillow. You need to get these emotions out. And, of course, do something creative. Creativity builds resilience. And... You need resilience 
to live life to the fullest. And of course, when you've got the courage, you then endure every day in a positive way. And I find when I live this way, even having lost my son, having had traumatic situations, crisis, you really, you cope much better. True strength is knowing that you don't have to be strong every single moment or second of every day. Now, another tip is never be afraid to ask for help. It's a difficult one for me because I always, I think I'm getting better at it. But when I was younger, I thought I was superwoman. I would do everything myself and I can do things better and I don't need anyone else. Um, well, never be afraid to ask for help. And there's a lovely episode, a lovely scene in the movie, A Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood. And it's Tom Hanks. Now, he's Fred Rogers. And the episode I'm talking about is the tent debacle. Now, Tom Hanks struggles to put up a tent and he laughs and he gets frustrated and then he fails. So the team that are with him, he's told by the team, don't worry, we'll put up the tent for the next take. And he tells them, no, it's OK, because children need to know that even when adults make plans, sometimes they don't turn out the way they hoped. This was the lesson, obviously, for that um, episode. But indirectly, the lesson that uh, Tom Hanks um, was saying, he was 100% committed to teaching and every decision he makes was to teach the children and help them to feel meaningful, understood and seen. So remember, it's not just children that need to hear that message. Adults do as well. So being strong doesn't mean... You never need help. It's the opposite is true. When you understand that you can't do everything yourself and on your own, recognising that some problems are just too big, the best way to stay strong in tough times is actually to know that you need help. So in the words of Fred Rogers in the movie, but true in the real life world is, all of us at some time need help. Whether we are giving or receiving help, each one of us has something valuable to bring to this world. And that leads me to the next tip. So of helping others where possible, be kind. This helps you to stay strong. When you help friends, family, even strangers, this can reduce the impact of stress on your emotions and your mental health. It can be difficult to do helping others when you're feeling that you don't even have the strength to help yourself. But it doesn't have to be huge gestures. Just a a small gesture of kindness um, could be sending an email, lifting the phone to someone who's maybe on their own. Um, just, Just small gestures. And we've seen this. The smallest acts of kindness create a better world for everyone and a stronger one for you. And I think it's kind of sad that at the start again of the pandemic, everybody was be kind, we clap for the frontline workers, it's all wonderful. And then we kind of moved forward and it's as if we're all getting a bit fed up and we've turned into people who are complaining, people who are blaming others, people who are kind of almost um, telling tales on their neighbours and things. Uh, I know we have to be uh, cautious and social distancing and we don't like if we see people not social distancing. But as long as look after yourself and be kind to others and there's that sort of ripple effect. And, you know, what some of the gestures we saw, mm, I've got hair now in my mouth, um, some of the gestures we see are like people delivering food to the elderly, uh, dropping off food at the food banks um, and just just small acts. It lifts the spirits of those of you and those around you. And I hope by doing my regular live videos that la- that lifts your spirits because it certainly lifts mine because I'm inspired and motivated by people listening and watching. So thank you very much. It, it makes it all worthwhile. So... When you recognise you have the power to help others, then you find the power to help yourself.
And of course, uh, my favourites are, as you all know, is this smiling and laughing. Find a happy moment every day. Now, this is a very quick one, but one that maybe people don't do. And I mentioned it at the start of the videos. Just look outside. Look at nature. It really lifts your spirits. And I'm sure we all love these. I love the video, um, Max out in the Lake District and his three doggies, the Spaniels, all running around. It really lifts your spirits. I mean, nature's just wonderful. Look at the trees, look at the clouds, everything. Look at the flowers that are starting to bloom, the snowdrops. When you go a walk or you're outside, Look around you. Don't think in your head about, oh, I've got to go to the shopping, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. Stop and focus on the moment. Just bring yourself into, um, sort of immerse yourself in the nature and sort of look at some of the happy posts on social media. Uh, I mean, as I say, I love them watching dogs that are playing, babies laughing and you find yourself laughing as well along with them. And be grateful for the little things. Don't focus on the negatives. Smile and laugh. I mean, if I was to oh, I think I'm really down today, I'm going to bring you all down. Just smile and lift the corners of your mouth and you really feel much better. Now, you might be thinking, oh, I, I shouldn't be smiling and laughing because there's been people who were seriously ill, people who have died, people who are dying. But when you smile and laugh, that is not ignoring that these things are happening. By taking a moment to smile and laugh, you're staying stronger. Turn negative thoughts, this is the next tip, turn negative thoughts into positive ones. This is so important because when you get overwhelmed, when life is throwing things at you, then the mind is extremely powerful. And you can very quickly go into, I can't stand another day. Oh, I can't cope. And, and you're bringing yourself down. You can even feel, and you'll be feeling it just now when I'm saying, Oh, I can't cope today. Oh, I don't want another week. So your voice, everything comes down. Turn that around and just say, Do you know what? I got up today. I can turn things around. I can turn these statements around into, I managed to cope today. And I feel myself lifting my, straightening my back and getting that confidence and positivity. And it's wonderful. And I'm still here. And I'm ready for today. And bring it on, life. Bring on what you're going to throw at me next. I've survived and I've made it through the day, through the week, through the minute, through the month. So turn your negative thoughts into positive ones. I mean, the mind is just so extremely powerful. The next step is live in the now. Don't focus on the past. Um, think of the wonderful memories, yes, but learn from your past. Take lessons from the past and then leave it behind. Don't focus on the future. We don't know what's round the corner. Uh, you know, by all means, prepare for the future. That's different. But anything can happen and life changes all the time. Remember, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. And today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. So I learned that my greatest strengths come from my greatest challenges. So build up your strength. But you've got to be flexible and adaptable so that you can adjust when life throws you that curveball. Remember that you build strength, resilience and courage, of course, by practising my ABC regularly and make it a good habit. They're only a couple of minutes. You know, people will say, oh, I don't have time for this. Well, I'm sorry if you don't have time for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes out of your day, then... <sighs> I think you're thinking incorrectly. You're just being negative. It's like, the I can't. So as soon as a, you know, I say to people, try this, go, I can't. You know, I can give up. You can take a horse to water. You can't force it to drink. But remember my A is for the affirmation. Just, just remember your three Ps. Personal, positive and present or past tense. Be like the athletes. You're not saying, oh, I will feel good next week. I will feel good in an hour's time. I feel fabulous. 
I am strong, all these positive statements. And then, of course, the B for breathing is just fabulous, the effect of breathing. I mean, it's wonderful. And uh, I think one of the things that should have continued was, and somebody said, oh, it's the COVID breathing. But the consultant, I've mentioned this before, but he did a trial of how you breathe. You need to increase the capacity of your lungs. And when you... If you do yoga, if you've done drama or you've done singing, you probably know this already. But most of us do shallow breathing. It's, it's from the top here. It's from our shoulders and our chest. That's shallow breathing. You need to do the deep breathing and you're bringing the oxygen into your bloodstream. You're energizing yourself, but you're also calming and relaxing. Why is it the stop freeze if you're getting worked up or something? You just say to them, take three deep breaths. And that's all. You're just calming the moment down. And then see, using your creative imagination. Um, I've got mind bites. I call them mindfulness meditations. They're available on the website. And the meditations, they focus your mind on the present moment and when you focus your breath as you're breathing and visualizing these other thoughts just disappear so for today the affirmation is i am strong i want you all to say that just now i am strong the be the breathing take a deep breath in through the nose to the count of three Hold for the count of three and then exhale slowly through your mouth to the count of three. That's a deep breathing. And if you're unsure of what to do, I've got a mind bite on that. But you can watch. If you've got a dog, watch how they sleep. They sleep. It is like diaphragmatic breathing. They're breathing. Their tummy goes in and out. Just watch them. Or a baby. They are doing effective breathing. So the C for today I'm going to do is the tree. It's based on an oak tree. Now, um, I work with Eddie at a recording studio and he's lovely. He keeps me smiling when I'm doing my voiceovers and my meditations. But I said to him I want to do the oak tree and the meadow. And actually we came up with something. It didn't really look like a meadow. And he said, that's not an oak tree because my mind bites are videos. So you can watch them. You can before you can watch them through and listen to my voice and then you can repeat it, closing your eyes. So this is just really the tree, but it's based on an oak tree from little acorns grow big oak trees. You know, it, just the strength of the oak tree, just it, it reaches out to me. So remember, of course, you've got to have your feet in the ground and your back straight. Not stiff. You don't want to be stiff. Just straight back. It makes you feel positive and confident. And this med meditation will help you to feel strong. So if you close your eyes now. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold. And then exhale slowly through the mouth. Now imagine yourself in the countryside. You are walking across a lovely field, a meadow. It's just beautiful. Nature all around. The air around you is so pure. In the distance, there is a large tree. It's a strong branches stretching out. Some are swaying in the light breeze. Walk towards it and sit down on the grass. You hear the rustling of the leaves. Rest your body against the trunk of the tree. Rest your body and mind. Lean against the bark. 
feel the strength of this large, solid tree. Feel its strength flow into your body and your mind. Say to yourself, I feel strong. I am confident. I am brave. Sit for a while, just resting against the bark of this tree. Feel the energy of the tree flow into your body and your mind. This is nature at its best. Breathe in the strength and energy of the tree. Breathe in through your nose slowly and hold and then exhale slowly through your mouth. Take another deep breath in through your nose. Hold and then exhale slowly through your mouth. Take another deep breath in, feeling all the energy and strength of the tree flowing into your body and mind. Hold that energy and strength. And then as you exhale slowly through your mouth, you can open your eyes and say, I am confident. I am full of energy. I am strong. I face life. I can face whatever life throws at me. I feel good. And then, of course, you can just, as always, just relax, yawn or stretch your arms. Just bring yourself back into the now. So that should set you up for the day and you can do that at any time. A couple of minutes. And, of course, if you're getting anxious and frustrated and annoyed, you can use particularly the breathing. You can use these any moment where you're not operating machinery or driving. But if you're operating machinery and driving even, getting worked up, just step back. If you're at traffic lights, the breathing is excellent. Take a deep breath. I don't want you to be visualising when you're driving. So it's just a deep breath. And remember, smile. It costs you nothing. And laugh. Laughter is the best medicine. So I'll be back on Wednesday, live video Wednesday um I was thinking Weighty Wednesday, I don't know, Weighty came into my mind. But anyway, if you've got suggestions for a title, please post on social media or private message me. Um, uh, email me even, pat at mindcircles.co.uk. I love hearing from pe people. And of course, if you choose a title, you can get an hour, well, you do get an hour of my time just to chat, whatever, it doesn't matter. So uh, enjoy Monday and I hope that set you up for the day and virtual hugs to all. And thank you again for listening and watching. Bye.